the objective of this video is to understand the AI capabilities of Google Docs. So I believe this comes along with a subscription to Google Workspace, which in itself contains Gemini Advanced and other AI features. So let's check out what Google Docs does with this AI assistance. Once you open a new doc, uh, you're gonna see two additional features here, generate document and help generate. Otherwise it would be templates more and I believe meeting and similar options, but not these two, not the first two. Let's try this one first, help me write. So once I click on that, it asks me to start prompting. For experimentation, uh, let's try to create a blog post. So I'm just gonna give some sample data about uh, CRM software. I have just given a model CRM uh, called Symbol and these are its, this is what it is and this is what it is capable of, basic stuff. Let's go ahead and create. Okay. It didn't insert it directly, but it's asking me to review what it has created. <laughs> looks, uh, the marketing language looks clean here. Okay, we are not going to test the efficiency and accuracy of the language. We are just going to see what exactly it does. It's created the blog. No idea how good it is. And let's see what other options we've got. We can just click on insert. Uh, I'm sure this would just insert it in the document. Let's see what refine does. It regenerates it. I thought it would ask me some options if I click on drop down. Oh, it, it, it actually does. My bad. So there's an option to retry, summarize, which would minimize the content, bulletize, okay. Information architecture. This is to change the language, more casual, more formal. Elaborate, expand, shorten, okay. Let's try something here. Let's try minimization. Let's see. Uh, right now it's two pages. What would short and do? Oh, it actually created a new page uh, with a shortened version. It didn't replace it in the first one, but it did a fresh content in the third page. This to me looks a uh, very persuasive language, a marketing sales pitch. I want to see its efficiency with more formal language. There you go. It again did not replace the first content, which is good actually. It created a fresh page. Here it, it's more of a business interaction. Okay. So it selected the latest uh, output, the business language. So once it has inserted, it doesn't mean that the end, that it's the end of uh, prompt capability. So once you have the content over here, I can still open up Ask Gemini right here, and it would, I believe, offer me similar options. There you go. I can still refine this document. I can paraphrase this. What else? Summarize, it's, it's the same uh, set of features, but I see additional ones over here. Mm, create a list. What can I ask for? Okay, so the support continues. Once you insert the selected content, it continues, which is good to know. One thing that I was looking forward to was proofreading capabilities. I'm sure it would be available in some or the other way. Uh, let's try here. Actually, let's make some mistakes. Okay, there are three spellings that I know are for sure wrong. Here's a proofread version of provided content which with corrections, okay. Mm 
this is not something that you want it it just it just rewrote everything with corrections obviously but okay inserts on top of it okay the there's no capabilities such as real time inline suggestions that you would see in a software like grammarly but yeah it just rewrites and i don't know how you would validate that again you would have to read through each and every line because it doesn't highlight the specific content that's that has uh corrections but rather writes the entire thing that's kind of disappointing so yeah mm, i'm testing the entire google workspace on multiple applications within google suite so yeah thank you for watching